everybody, this is Brian with the Instructional Technology Coordinator team and the School District of Waukesha, and this is another of our iPad SDW Core App intro tutorials. In this one, we're going to take a look at the web browser that comes with your um, iPad, and that is the Safari browser that's here, represented by the compass and the blue uh, background there. So we're going to take a look at that one. This is how we search the web on... Um, our iPads are at least one of the ways to do that. Here you can see that I have um, a website already pulled up, uh, Udacity, which happens to be an online course uh, that I'm interested in. And so from here, uh, just a couple of key things that you should be aware of as we roll into Safari. Uh, the first of them is this icon up here, kind of this open book look. And these are just some of the some of the things that you can look at on your iPad. So one of them is the bookmarks here. Uh, we can create bookmarks using Safari, and this is an example of the different uh, bookmarks that I've got. Notice when I click Edit, I can get in and remove some of those bookmarks if I need them. I can also, by clicking on this clock looking uh, icon, be in the history of this. So you can see some of the things that I'm looking for there. And the last one is a reading list, which is things that I'm interested in reading but maybe want to save until later. Notice I can add things to my reading list, such as I'm on this Udacity website, and I can add that for later viewing. One of the next places uh, that I can look at is my iCloud tab. So if you've got more than one device with an Apple ID, you can see these are the different things that are available on my um, other other sites. So my iPhone has a few open, my MacBook has a few different tabs open. So if you happen to have more than one uh, Apple device, that's a nice feature to use. Here we've got obviously our URL bar where you would type the address in. Here we have our search bar, so it's got that built right into it. If I want to open another tab, I simply click the plus here and I can open a new tab and go to a new site. And there we go, we've got some more there. Um, but the last part's the reason that I probably use the Safari browser the most, and that is the ability to put things onto my desktop if interested. So, you see I'm hovering over this icon here, the square with the arrow coming out, and when I click that, I can do some things that I couldn't do in other browsers. For instance, um, I can mail out using the mail application on board. If I've got my mail put into the iPad settings, I can mail out this this link. I can message this link to others. I can tweet this link out if you've got an active Twitter account set up. But what I really like is the ability to add this to my home screen. So for something like a uh, Google Form that I use often to do a classroom walkthrough or to do an evaluation of students, once I've got that Google Form opened up in Safari, if I come in here and click this link, I can add this to my home screen and it functions almost as if I have an app. So let's say uh, you use something every day or you use this pretty often. This is a fast way to get to websites. I can print provided I have a uh, printer that is set up to print with the iPad uh, wirelessly. I can also bookmark that and this is the way we would add bookmarks to our list or I can add it to our reading list which we just saw there. But it's important to know what those features are and how to get to them. Uh, using Safari. And so that's the way that we use Safari to browse the web on our iPads. Thanks for the time, everybody. And as you uh, run into questions, always feel free to email us. We'll be happy to answer them.